Hello Virgos. As most of you know, I do my mid-month and beginning of the month zodiac videos. Um, so those are twice a month. I'm going to continue to do these for you guys, but I'm also doing third-party readings and soulmate and twin flame readings on this channel as well. So things are switching up a little bit here. It's gonna be a little bit, it's gonna be getting a little bit more diverse on this channel. But um, but yeah, let's do your mid-month reading and see what's going on. You know, whatever the energies want to say. You know, it could be love, money. Um, career, just whatever the cards want to say. We've got sadness and we've got pulling them in. Taking it slow, getting to know each other, kind of being gentle with someone. Open, honest communication message. Ooh, that's a good card. Love offer. Okay. You might be getting a message that's going to be a love offer. So like a, someone asking to take you on a date or somebody uh, wanting to reconcile with you. Someone asking how you're doing, you know, catching up. So, you know, I ran into an old friend of yours and, you know, so someone's been kind of spying, but they're going to play it cool and pretend like they haven't been spying on you, basically, is the energy I get. They're going to pretend like they just, you know... Like, oh, your friend just mentioned you out of nowhere. So I thought I'd, you know, just casual, just casually thought, you know, thought I'd check up, see how you've been. But really they're, they've been, wa the reality is they've been watching you for a while and have been wanting to talk to you. But they're going to play it off. They're going to play it cool is basically what I'm getting here. Spying, end of a pattern or cycle. Yeah, someone's been watching you for a while from afar. This could be an ex. Could be someone that kind of like, almost like you're their unicorn, like they love you from a distance. The feelings are mutual with this person, though. I think that you feel the same way about them. Maybe they were just a little too shy and you kind of wish that they would grow up here, but you still feel the same way. You just, you know, kind of wish that they would grow up a little bit is all. But I feel like someone's ending a cycle here. They've been spying for a while and they want to break this silence is what I'm getting here with this Breakthrough Freedom card. You know, they're kind of tired of spying. I think someone's also starting to realize that the feelings are mutual or they're just realizing that like they're never going to know how you feel unless they find out for themselves. So someone's taking a leap of faith here. Someone's also feeling, someone's partially taking a leap of faith because they feel isolated and they feel alone right now. Sorry. That's another reason why someone's taking a leap of faith is just like they're at that point in their life where they're like, okay, I can spy and be like a low key stalker, or I can find out one way or another if the feelings are mutual here. So I think a lot of you are getting a message here. I think some of you manifested this too. I think with the taking it slow card, some of you have been trying to manifest this person. Some of you were, were heartbroken over this person. And you've been trying to manifest, you've been kind of standing in your power, like you're not reaching out first, you're just standing strong, you're standing in your power and being kind of seductive and cute here and trying to pull them in so that they'll get to know you and give this a chance. Like you've been kind of just, like you want to see if they step up or not, you know, just kind of standing in your power and seeing what they, what they do. And I just feel like someone, yeah, I feel like someone's going to break here. Someone's wanting to break the silence. So it's almost like you really want to talk to them, but you know if you message them first, then it's going to be the same old cycle as before. Or like, you know, like, it's like you're trying to prove something to yourself or prove something to this person, basically. Like, you're trying to see, like, okay, if this person really does care, they'll message me. But for some, I feel like this might be someone that you kind of forgot about. Like, not like, like, I feel like you did have legit feelings for this person at one point. And I feel like the feelings are still there, but maybe you just kind of like figured, okay, it's been months, they're, all, they're never going to message me, whatever. Like maybe this is someone that you met and you had this deep connection with, but they were seeing someone else or you were seeing someone else or there was just some kind of drama or something. So it was like, like just like someone like, like an ex that you just didn't, you know, they pop up here and there, but like you, you don't, no, I don't want to say you don't expect to hear from them, but like maybe you, you, you haven't talked to them in a while, for some of you, is what I feel. They might be coming up for some of you. you might, they might be coming up in your dreams, though. They might be coming up, like, telepathically, you're kind of connecting with them. You've been connecting with them. Like, you feel their energy around. Because I feel like this person has been spying on you and keeping tabs on you. Like, they're asking mutual friends about you, asking if you're seeing anybody. 
they're spying on your social media and checking your posts and like going looking at your old pictures maybe they have pictures saved in the phone in, in their phone of the two of you or they're um like going through your post and your pictures on like facebook instagram watching your tiktok videos or your youtube videos um like some kind of something with like the internet where there's like a spying like they they want more of you so i feel like they're watching you somewhere if that makes sense like they have like there's you have videos or or pictures a lot of pictures up or something and they're they want to be close to you and they want more of you so they always check your post to see what you posted they always it's, it's like maybe maybe you're like a writer like a song writer or a poetry writer and you have like blogs and stuff or blogs on like facebook or something and they always read your notes over and over again because they just want to they want to know everything about you they want to be close to you but this person's going to play it cool is what i'm feeling you know and you've been manifesting this you've been pulling them in i feel i feel like this person you hurt them or they hurt you but I feel like you've been standing in your power and you manifested this back. And I think this person is has been spying for a while. This person's been like, kind of, it's like you're their unicorn. They've been kind of loving you from afar for a while and just, you know, stalking you on social media and watching everything you post or do or whatever. Some of you could even be like on TV or something and they're watching. They always tune in. Maybe you're on the news or something and they tune in every night because they want to watch you. You know, it's that kind of energy. And this could be for someone that you know as well but um but yeah with the spying card i feel like they're ending this cycle they they wanna they're they're tired they they need more of you maybe you're posting less lately or something or you're not maybe something's going on where they're not getting quite as much of you and they're 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 maybe they're panicking and like they don't know maybe you've been off social media for a few days and they're like where did they go and they're kind of panicking but i because i feel like this person's going to message but i feel like I feel like they're going to give you a love offer in this message, but it's going to, it's going to be slow. Like it's going to, they're going to lead up to it and they're going to test the waters first. I do feel like they're going to try to be kind of like, not super prideful, but a little prideful and play it cool. Like, you know, they don't want to come on too strong. So they're probably going to say like, cause it might be like maybe months or even like a year or two since you guys have talked. So I almost feel like they're going to say, you know, like, Oh, I just had a dream about you just they're gonna try to like they've been thinking about you and longing for you and missing you and spying on you watching you for quite a while now this has been going on for a long time but I feel like I feel like um they're gonna um try to play it cool they're going to be prideful and try to play it cool is what I'm getting. It's almost like low-key stalking. Like, this person's really obsessed with you. But I'm getting that, like, something is, come, is happening to make them want to break through and end that cycle in that pattern like you're like maybe you blocked them or something or maybe you like are you're just not posting as much or something of that sort and they just can't they feel like they're addicted to you like they can't get enough of you so they're gonna message you and they're gonna try to give you this commitment this love offer but like I said they're gonna be prideful just a little bit and play it cool like they're gonna be really casual is the energy I get like they're gonna pretend like you know oh your friend just casually mentioned you you know I was just wondering you know, just wondering how you're doing. What's up? You know, it's been a while. It's been a while since we talked, you know. They're like, oh, I'm good. I'm fine. You know, they, they're not going to let you know that they've been thinking about you and missing you and longing for you. I'm not feeling like it's a romantic message. Even though they do feel romantic towards you, it does feel like it's, for most of you, it's romantic. But they're still going to be super casual about it. And they're feeling isolated and alone, so that's why they're they're needing they're wanting this connection and missing you. I mean, it's not it's not the only reason, but I do get like a little bit of like an obsessive vibe where this person really like what like everything you post, they're they're saving it, they're screenshotting it, you know, sex seduction here, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Yes, yeah, someone wants to come in and seduce you, and they're planning out how to do that. 
someone is trying to enter your dreams as well. Someone's trying to connect with you telepathically. They're trying to, you know... Some of them are trying. I got for just for one specific person. Someone here is trying to put the idea in your head that you're their soulmate or you're their twin flame. So this could be a toxic energy. This just is for one specific person though. So don't take it if it's not resonating. And if you'd like a private reading, just email me. My email is right below in the description box below this video. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Um, any donations are appreciated. My donation links are below. And please subscribe and share this if it's resonating for you. But anyway, I think I just feel like someone, there's like something here about someone trying to connect with someone telepathically, psychically. But they might be trying to like implant thoughts, if that makes sense, if, in your head, if that makes sense. Like they're trying to, they're trying to, to put the intention in of you thinking that they're your soulmate or your twin flame. Or this could be someone that you hang out with and they try to like, um manipulate your spirituality and manipulate your like witchcraft or your beliefs to try to make you think that um they're the one like you go out and like they or like they like they message you at like 11 11 or you guys go out and they're like oh look i just saw like a swan that's a that's a sign of true love you know like just kind of things like they're trying to deliberately saying things like pointing out synchronicities to try to get you to think that they're your person and if this is your read though you know that they're not your person so this wouldn't be someone that you'd be sure about this would be someone that you feel off about like you don't feel like you connect with them like you feel like there's too many differences like you don't feel comfortable with them but they're trying to convince you that you're comfortable with them they're trying to gaslight you into into that but this is just for some of you. I just want to say that. That's like a message for one of you. But for most of you, for a lot of you, I feel like this this is this could be a good relationship. This could be someone that's just playing it cool. It doesn't and you know what I mean? It's 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 not necessarily a bad energy. It, you know, take it as it resonates. Because for some people, this is bad. For some people, this is a stalker that you probably know about. Or someone that you can feel energetically is obsessed with you and you need to cut the cords on them. But um, but for others, this this is a good energy. This is someone that is a little obsessive and they do watch you a lot, but there's no harm there. You know what I mean? It's so so use your own intuition here because th this could go either way. There's there's two different there's I mean, there's one energy group here. But for some, this is a, a negative stalker. And for some, this is a good possible relationship. But they're just a little on the obsessive side. Yeah, they're a little codependent. Yeah, they kind of give into the passion and the romance here. Yeah, confusion. You know what? Go with your own intuition here, too. Go with your own intuition. Don't submit to them. You know what I mean? Don't trap yourself by being submissive to them. Really pause and reflect and rest and listen to your own intuition. You know, listen to your own intuition. This could be a third-party energy for some as well. So trust your intuition on this, okay? Yeah, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. It's like someone's been waiting and praying for communication and now they're tired of spying and they just want you in their life. So they're going to break down and send you a message. This person's been spying and stalking for a while is what I get for this group though. This has been months or possibly years. This isn't something new. This is not like a, a secret admirer that you just met a few weeks ago. This is somebody that maybe you have an on and off relationship with like you you every couple of years you guys come back together and get back together and then you break up again you know that kind of energy this is someone someone that you have a history with is, is definitely what i'm getting here but anyway if this is your story and it resonates please go ahead and subscribe um and please share and you know email me for a private reading any donations are also appreciated thank you guys so much for watching